Good morning, friends. My name is Robert Wallace. I'm the pastor for the Keswick Chapel, and this is Saturday, July 4th, and this is our time of devotion and prayer. Turn in your Bibles to 2 Samuel 22, verses 29 and 30. And for those of us in the United States, today is the 4th of July, Independence Day. And for those of you overseas, we welcome you to Saturday. You, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against the troop. With my God, I am able to scale a wall. Father, we love you and we thank you for this day. Father, we ask that you lead, guide, and direct this morning. Father, help us to open our eyes to see and our ears to hear. Father, I pray that you would help our hearts and our minds to be receptive to your truth this morning. Lead us and guide us, Father, that we may draw closer to you and learn from you today. We pray these things in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So glad you joined me this morning, and I am so thankful for you. And I would like to tell you that the Bible Psalm for today is Psalm 147, verses 1 through 7. I encourage you to read the Word of God aloud every day, whenever you have the opportunity. Start reading God's Word aloud so that you will hear His Word from your lips to your ears. I promise you it will make a significant difference in your life. Amen. And we are continuing Ephesians with Paul. And today, the passages Ephesians 6 10 through 18 and this is really a a fairly well-known passage I'm not going to read it to you not entirely because it is quite lengthy however I do want to touch on a couple of things and then I'll also mention this is the passage that talks about the full armor of God and each piece and what those are so we're not going to tarry on those today but I just want to point that out to you read this passage today We're going to start, though, with verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms heavenly realms so therefore put on the full armor of god folks don't you know you you may think that you're upset with the the individual standing across from you you may think that you're upset with the people that are running the city or the county or the state or the federal government the battle takes place in the heavenly realms that's what paul's trying to tell us We may have issues with folks. We might. At the end of the day, the battle is over sin, and the battle is over God's holiness and his righteousness, all found in Christ Jesus. So whenever we have ought with one another, we need to back up and take a breath and think about what is really the issue here. People are people. And they don't always do things that we want them to do. They don't always do things that we would like them to do. That's okay. We need to talk through those things. We need to pray for one another. We need to pray that God would help us to see the other person's point of view. And then we need to realize that there are real battles that take place in the heavenly realms. And so prayer is our weapon against those things. Of course, Paul goes on and he talks about the armor of God, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, the shield of faith in order to extinguish the flaming arrows of the, of the evil one, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Take these up every day, every day. And then finally, he says, and pray in the spirit on all occasions and with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. This, my friends, is the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be unto God. I really want to encourage you. Take time. Read this passage. Really consider what Paul is telling us here. I think that you will find that it's very important, especially in today's world where 
things just aren't going real well. And we see a lot of illness. We see a lot of disease, famine, flooding, all of these calamities that can cause us to step back and go, well, wait a minute, what's going on? Well, what's going on is that the war continues to rage. We know the end of the story. We know that Jesus is the victor but until such time as Christ comes again. Evil will work its way across this planet. And so as the children of God, our God, our, God, our goal, our weapon is prayer. We pray and we seek God's direction. We seek his face. The prayer comes from the Heidelberg Convention 127. Captain of my life, help me to grasp the cosmic battle that rages in my heart and throughout the world. I'm in a fight far beyond my strength and understanding. So I pray that you make me wise and strong. Outfit me with all your spiritual armor so that I can stand and not go down to the in defeat in the spiritual struggle. In the name of Jesus, amen. 2 Thessalonians 1.11, may God make you worthy of his calling. And by his power, may he bring to fruition your every desire for goodness and every deed prompted by faith. Father, we love you and we thank you for the day. I pray that you'd be with each and every one who's attended here this morning. Father, I pray that you would help them to get a hold of your word, get a hold of your truth. Help me, Father, to live on your promises. Help us to stand firm in the day. Help us to realize before we go into battle that we should pray and we should seek your direction and your guidance. We love you and we thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I pray you'll have a great day. Be blessed in the Lord. I pray that you'll go in peace. Bye for now.